this is Tiny Game King coming at you with another Draft League battle. Um, this is for the game room. We are in week six, and we pretty much have to win this. Um, we have three more battles in this league, and if we want a chance to make playoffs, I'm pretty sure we have to win like every one. Um, right now we're one and four. Yeah, one and four. We've only won one match, um, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, we just haven't had uh, the greatest luck. So, um, our opponent today, though, is definitely not going to be an easy opponent. Um, it is Neil, um, and he's the coach of the Scuba Squirtles, and he has the opposite record as a, of us. He is 4-1. and one. Um, so, uh, like I said, it's going to be a tough battle. Um, I actually was really glad I looked at his team right before this because, um, I didn't notice that he'd made a trade and, uh, I had to move, fix a couple, um, moves around on my Pokemon, uh, because, uh, just in case they were brought and, um, so, uh, and the moves that I had on the other one, on my Pokemon weren't going to be as effective as they would have been. So, I decided to change things up. So, Neil's team is Sylveon, Gudra, Blissey, Meowstic, Talonflame, Carbink, Araquanid, Toxapec, Wishy Washy, Rotom Frost, Drapion, and Skunk Tank. Um, Neil's team is, as of right now, he's brought a decent amount of the same Pokemon every time. Um, so, that, but he, like I said, he just made a trade, so it could change how he does. Um, I didn't want to uh, make my team just for the six that he's been bringing um, even before he did the trade. But now that he did the trade, I could definitely see him bringing a couple of these other mons that he picked up because he did pick up Drapion, Skunk Tank, and Rotom Frost which uh, looks kind of nice into my team. So it um, uh, should be interesting to see what he brings. Um, like he, like I said, he has this, a pretty tough team. Like Sylveon, Gudra, like both really bulky uh, Mons. And uh, really going to be really tough to go up against. Um, got Meowstic Male. Um, with the cause, like, like prankster uh, screens and things like that, and we got Talonflame and even and like Rock Grenade. Like that's a good team right there. Uh, so we'll see what he brings, um, and we will uh, hopefully we can uh, get this win. Um, like I said, this is um, kind of like a do or die. I'm pretty sure even if, if we lose this, I don't think we can. Like, I don't think if we end this record, even with the next two wins, I'm pretty sure we need to win all three. So, um, definitely be a tough three matches because all three of my next opponents are going to be pretty tough. But uh, we'll play one game at a time and see how we do. So, team I am bringing. You can, guys can already see down uh, below. But we got Grimmsnarl, and Grimmsnarl is, um, Light Clay. And we got, um, Fake Out, of course. Um, then we have the two screens, and we have Spear Break to, um, uh, lower, uh, um, target special attack, and to deal some super effectiveness against, like, Gudra, because I do think Gudra 
and uh, Sylveon are both. Uh, it won't do much against Sylveon, but at least lower its special attack. So that was the point. Um, so, uh, and then it'll do some nice damage to Gudra. I'm hoping. So that's, yeah. And then, uh, like I said, it's Light Clay. Just so we can keep up the screens a little bit longer. And of course, Prankster. Just wanted to double check. Um, so then we have Obstagoon um, with Flame Orb. Uh, and then, of course, Guts. And then we have Obstruct, Knock Off, uh, Close Combat, and Facade. So, Obstagoon was one of the ones I changed to move on. We added Close Combat to deal with um, the Dark Types that he added onto his team. So, uh, that's uh, hopefully uh, a good thing. Uh, cause I do think... Um, I do think one of them's coming. Like, Poison Dark does pretty good against, like... Uh, Grim Snarl, uh, and so we'll see how it is. Um, and then, so we got Knock Off, of course, to get rid of the items and to see what items they have. Uh, close combat, like I said, st uh, super effectiveness against a couple of his new mons. And Facade, since um, it's a uh, um, nice move that doesn't have to be worried about the pairs. We don't, none of our moves have to be worried, but put facade on just, just for it. Um, then we have, uh, what is that? Yeah. Choice band, uh, bear scooter. Uh, so we can hit pretty hard and bear scooters extremely fast so uh it was uh i figured it would be a, a good mon to have on the team so and then so it has liquidation um scale shot so liquidation for stab of course scale shot's gonna be going it's here for gudra um if we hit all I think that, like, I think four, maybe it's all five, um, then, uh, we, uh, we, all, we take down Gudra. Um, I forget what it was, to tell you the truth. I just know that, um, there was a decent chance that we could take out Gudra with it. Um, we got Brick Break to, um, help with uh, the screens that my opponent I'm expecting to ha uh, bring with um, Meowstic or even I guess he could bring uh, Carbink as well um, but yeah so but I just thought about him bringing screens so we've got Brick Break so we can uh, for one, it'll be nice against his new dark, dark types he brought, but it'll also uh, break the screen, so we don't have to worry about that. And then flip turn, so we can switch out if need be, um, if it's not a good matchup for us. Um, then we have uh, Choice Scuff uh, Toxtricity. Um, so Choice Scuff um, makes it so we outspeed um, anyone on his team that's not choice scuffed as well so uh, punk rock and then we got overdrive boom bust slide wave and volt switch so uh, overdrive of course and sludge wave for the stab you have to worry about the sludge wave since it would hit all it hit, it'll hit um, mons as well same with boom burst so we do have to worry, um, worry about them if we do lock ourselves into them um, and then we have bolt switch to switch ourselves out if need be as well since um, if we up against something we don't like but um, to tell you the truth like 
Tuck Trusties pretty decently and did most of his team. So um, we'll see how that goes. And then I think, yeah, then Punk Rock. So we boost up our moves like uh, Overdrive and Boom Bust. Uh, and then we have to Toxic Rock um, with Black Sludge. So we get some uh, HP back each turn. Um, Poison Touch is the ability we're running this week. So hopefully we can uh, poison our opponent. Uh, dumb bulky minds like Gudra or Sylveon if uh, we don't take them out. Um, and then we have Poison Jab, uh, Swords Dance, um, Brick Break again for this stab, but also to get rid of the screens and protect. So hopefully we can get um, Toxic Cloak set up. Uh, and uh, doing some nice damage versus our opponent. And then we have, uh, I think Maripeko is the last one we got, right? Yeah. Maripeko is the last one with Light Board, Hungry Switch, uh, Putting Shot, uh, Fake Out, War Wheel, and Wild Charge. So, of course, fake out to do what it does. Um, first turn, we get Prime Shot so we can lower our opponent's special attack and attack. Um, or wheel so we can uh, uh, do some nice um, stab damage. And so it'll be either electric or dark, depending. And then we have Wild Charge to do a nice, strong um, electric damage into. Um, his mons, um, like Arachnid and Toxapec, is like it's gonna be. Um, definitely needed some uh, strong moves just to deal with these um, bulky mons he has, because I think that's gonna be our biggest issue is dealing with the bulk. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's a team. I'm just gonna get up, see if we can get a hold of um, Neil and get this. Uh, match going. See you in a minute. Okay guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get ourselves a win. So, um, I haven't had the greatest luck in my matches lately, so this is definitely um, uh, definitely something I want to get out of. So I'm hoping that we can start that right here with this match.
stick, which I figured. Okay, good draw. Rock grenade. Town flame. And then he has Sylveon and Drapion. Yeah, kind of what I thought he would be bringing. Um, so I'm going to start with Grim Snarl and Toxtricity. And we will bring Barracuda and Ostagoon in the back. Tox Toxicroak. one. I think I got uh, talent. I think I got uh, Mel Peco. Whatever. I just noticed the time and I was got freaked out. So, yeah. Um, I think we still made the time. So it should be Grim Snarl and uh, Toxtricity. Yeah, cat. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to fake out onto Talonflame and we'll overdrive into both of them. Stick has a uh, light screen, which I figured. Right. Okay. So we're going to put light screen up ourselves. It was VGC 10, I put 9, so that's what it is. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to scale shot into Gudra and we'll to meow stick.
that sucks. Okay, so we're gonna scale shot again. And we'll roll real. And the Sylveon. Gudra has Sledge Bomb. And Thunderbolt. Locked into scale shot, so and we'll roll wheel into meow stick as well. Great, all right. So this definitely was a good uh, stuff for us. Electricity else bed. Um, out bed talon flame. Check something. Okay, maybe not. Uh, unless I did. So, I think we still, I think I still like that lead that we did. Um, you know, Paco actually did really well into his team. same. Bring the same four. If need be, we can change things up. Meow stick, drape yawn. Drapion and no, I'll figure me out stick 
and we will overdrive into both of them. And that sucks. Okay. So Grim Snell is going to go down. So what we'll do is bring up Mirror Pack, go again. And we're going to fake out Meow Stick again. And we'll uh, overdrive again. So, we're going to putting shot into Groove Jar, and we will overdrive into them both. That's right, that figured. So, that was a crit. Let me know. We know we can learn to live a Thunderbolt, so, and now it's minus one, so a scale shot into Gudra, and it's much of it's not going to do much damage, we can uh, overdrive as well. Just don't miss, yes. So GG's the uh, Neil. Uh, it's definitely nice to get uh, a win uh, into this. Um, so um, thanks again, and we will see you guys next week.